Gary here with RideCash. Today I'm going to give you a quick tour of RideCash using a 2003 Mercedes-Benz W209 or CLK 500. As you see here, this is the home page, what it would look like for a vehicle in RideCash. You see a nice profile picture of the vehicle, the title and description of the vehicle, and then a, a bigger description here of the vehicle that the owner has entered. Below this orange box, you see some information that is private. So this area is always private. You see the purchase information for the vehicle, the odometer, and the VIN. And then you see a set of images below that are the gallery pictures for the vehicle. Now note that there are a lot of other pictures associated with this vehicle that are associated with tasks and parts and events and things. But these are the images that the vehicle owner has decided he's going to use to show off kind of the vehicle at the top level. So you can bring those up in a nice slideshow view and scroll through those. Below that is the main interface for RideCache. And you see these tabs, tasks, parts, papers, events, resources. I'm going to go through quickly the first three of these which are associated with the free account. Events and resources are available for paid subscribers. Tasks is a task list and you can see here many of the tasks associated with this vehicle. You see many icons here. The first icon is the privacy. This green world means it's a public task. The yellow to the right arrow means it's medium priority, it's a repair, and it has been completed. The line through the title also indicates that this has been completed. But you also see scheduled tasks, to-do tasks, uh, many other tasks here that are associated with this, this vehicle. Then you have the parts list on the parts tab. These parts, many of them are associated with tasks that were on that previous tab. And you see their status can be installed. Some things are in inventory if a part has been replaced and you kept the original part but then many parts are also shown as discarded. It's still in your record, so you still keep a record of everything that's been associated with the vehicle, but they are noted as discarded. And then finally, you have the papers tab. Papers is a great place to show off kind of the power of the privacy of ride cash. So again, you have things that are marked with the green world that are fully public. The yellow orange car symbol here indicates a privacy we call riders only. Uh, those are people that you know and trust and that you accept as riders in your vehicle. Think of them like friends. Uh, and you're going to allow them to see certain things that the public would not be able to see. And of course there are some that have this red eye slash and those are private documents that only you as the owner will see. So that's a good quick demo of the main features of RideCash using this beautiful Mercedes CLK 500. RideCash is a great way to organize and manage everything you do to and with your vehicles. So it's fun and easy to use, and it helps you build real transferable value in your vehicle. So we hope you get started or subscribe today at RideCash.com.